We are taking a look. It is very windy out, but we are taking a look at the Wisconsin Dells Wisconsin version 3 supercharger and a quick look at how superchargers are being manufactured now and installed whereas the majority of the work can be done and completed in as little as eight days. Now what is happening now, the superchargers are actually built on slabs. As you can see this is one large concrete slab with four stations. Uh, they're underwater right now but there's hooks where they can lift the station the whole slab up from and um, if I do recall these are being built in Buffalo New York at the Tesla facility there and this is basically a, just a prefab the conduit is run and then they come in with a truck and they lift these down from the truck so this is gonna be 12 stalls None of this was here six days ago. Uh, they had this concrete poured, but they can fit, looks like they could fit, they could probably fit three, exactly what's here, on a single flatbed trailer. And they just come in, lift it down, and then they will run additional wiring. There's conduit in the slab too. Very nice build out. Get me excited for the version 4 superchargers that are coming soon. Can't give out too much information on that though. So each four stalls is connected with 600 amp, 480 volt, three phase connection. Let's see some of the specs here. Uh, output. Voltage range, 880 to 1,000 volts. Wow. Output current. Output pump power, 250 kilowatt. That doesn't seem... Oh, yeah, okay, that's per post. Okay, so this is, in fact, still a version 3. I was hoping they'd end up with a version 4, uh, given it should be just about ready to start shipping those. Um, there's a nice uh, radiator up there. Probably, oh yeah, active cooling because each these have these these have liquid cooled charging cables. So uh, originally, I thought they might be replacing this transformer. That's a 150 kilowatt transformer, but nope, they got their very own megawatt transformer or thousand kVA. Very impressive. So I just thought I'd give you guys a neat little look here. And the nice thing about building them like this is you don't really have to have that gated off area anymore. It reduces the amount of time to build as well as the costs. Instead of having to build everything on site, they just bring it in, drop it off. You know what? Originally I thought these are... Yeah, this is poured. That's it. Cool look at how the new version 3s are being done. The version 4s are going to be built the same way, only with much higher personal output and higher voltages too, which leads me to think that possibly the Cybertruck's going to have a higher voltage battery pack and the new Roadster than the SX3 and Y.